Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents Shat Cab. We just turned the calendars to July, and that means one thing. The Del Mar summer meeting is rapidly approaching. Yes, next Friday is opening day. I could not be looking any more forward to this meet. There are so many things to be excited about this time of year in racing, both on the East Coast and the West Coast. Of course, I'm out here covering the Southern California circuit and the Del Mar meet. But there are a few things specifically that I am absolutely most looking forward to. First off, totally understand why Santa Anita had to make the move to take the turf course out now and prepare it for the future and especially the Breeders' Cup. But man, has this circuit been in need of some grass racing of late. I can't wait for them to get back on the lawn at Del Mar from anywhere between the maiden races, the high-level claiming races, allowance races, and of course the plethora of great stakes racing they run down there in San Diego County in the summer. The full fields, great wagering opportunities, and great talent. A lot of the barns have been gearing up their turf runners for the first few weeks of the meet. It should be excellent to get back on the green. I can't wait. I know you can either. Secondly, The two-year-old races are just awesome this time of year. Saratoga we know about in New York and, of course, here in Del Mar. Yes, a few of these runners got started at Santa Anita over the past month or so, but now they really gear up. The big barns will have them ready. Remember, last year, what a great crop of runners we had. The boys were led by Nyquist. We saw him run a couple times at Del Mar both in winning the Best Pal and also, of course, winning the Del Mar Futurity on closing day. He ended up obviously going on to win the Derby. What a special runner he was and campaign he put us through as a two-year-old. And then, of course, with the Phillies, we got to see Songbird make her debut and then come back and absolutely dominate her class and earn two-year-old of the year in her ranks. And then, obviously, we know she's come back and been an unbelievable at three. Hopefully, we'll get more of the same this summer. I'm sure we will. We've got the Baffert Barn, the Hollendorfers, the Diamato, the O'Neill, and many more gearing up their top young runners in hopes that they have the game's next future star, both at the male and the female level. I can't wait to see what we have in store there. And then finally, obviously last but not least, the star power is back here at Del Mar this summer. Last year it was a little dry, especially in the male uh, older division. We did have Beholder and we did have the great two-year-olds, but we really were lacking star power in the upper level division, especially the males. The Pacific Classic, Beholder proved that the males just really were not that talented. This year, not the case. It, we get started the second Saturday to meet the San Diego Handicap. We get the fan favorite, the return of Dubai World Cup winner, California Chrome. He won't have things that easy, though, as it appears that both the second and third place finisher from last year's Derby, Dortmund and Firing Line, will be making their return as well. Hopefully, they're healthy enough to give it a go the second Saturday of the meeting. And they will all be looking to get ready for the Million Dollar Pacific Classic. And then, of course, the next Saturday with Clement Hirsch, we'll see this return of Star Mayor Beholder. And also, the second start of the four year old campaign for Stellar Wynn and for Heronis Racing and John Sadler. She put forth a great effort off the bench at Santa Anita. I think she will move forward, but Beholder probably will as well. And then, of course, they'll be gearing up for the Million Dollar Pacific Classic in August. It could be the race of the year. It looks like if everyone stays healthy, we'll have California Chrome. We'll have Beholder looking to uh, defend her title. We have Nyquist is a possibility. And then you have Melatonin, who did great work at Santa Anita this meet, winning both the Gold Cup and the Big Cap. That horse is in good form. It'll be nice to see where he stacks up against the best in the division. It could be absolutely the race of the year at Del Mar. That's August 20th, the Million Dollar TVG Pacific Classic. So I can't wait. Can't wait to get those PPs for opening day. Always a great card with full fields. Everyone wants to get in that winner's circle right away. Huge crowd. You'll have a great We'll have a great couple cards on the weekend, and then we really look forward to seeing some of the stars of the game come out this meet. So until then, we'll be capping it up. We hope you have good luck at the windows, and we'll be back next week to start digging into some of the stakes races and handicapping and hopefully coming up with some winners 
and get making some money at this Del Mar meet, which is very challenging. All right, have a good one.